So we're in Clubs, California. We just finished installing this dishwasher, which is provided by the homeowner. I think it came out of a Home Depot or Lowe's, one or the other. Uh, but they wanted it installed. They have a list, and they're wanting to check things off. So here you go. This one's checked off. Um, it was a little more complicated than most dishwashers. Uh, the the um, the base that itself was not sitting level enough, and of course, uh, you know, just had to do with alignment of the of the inside box. So we got that addressed, and now it closes correctly. No banging on the sides, and of course, that was the homeowner's suggestion. Yay! So they took care of that. Anyway, so this is install. All that we've done is we've taken uh, all the new parts, which is the drain hose the braided stainless steel water supply line, the existing pigtail, the electrical cord that came off the old disposal, reconnected it uh, to the, the new appliance, plugged it in, it's behind the cabinet, uh, you know, so to unplug it, you gotta, you know, pull the dishwasher out, uh, but that's there. And then of course the braided stainless steel supply line, it looks like about an eight footer, comes over, ties into the hot, hot side, so that's in good shape. And then the drain line, um, you know, it's not code because there's no air gap. However, we did put a high loop on it as high as it will go in the cabinet up above it You have the um, electrical uh, conduit coming through there So it's up high enough and then it's strapped in the back and then it comes over and discharges into the dishwasher We did turn the water back on and flush out the faucet to make sure there's no debris in there um, We checked the, the shutoff valves to make sure they're not dripping those are in good shape You'll have to go ahead and take this for uh, for a test drive and make sure that it's functioning correctly. You know, either do a quick quick rinse cycle, whatever, just to make sure that it's draining correctly, or go ahead and do a load of dishes. But don't leave the home until you're confident that there's nothing going on. You know, you certainly want to look down here and make sure that the drain is not leaking, that the water uh, line is not leaking, and uh, and then, of course, you know, you'd be in good shape after that. But anyways, everything looks good, and outside of that, this installation is done.